Now to the extraordinary efforts being made on behalf of the pets left homeless after Hurricane Sandy. You like what I did there with the segue? Yeah, I yeah. like that. That yeah. was very classy, Dan. Yeah. Tens of thousands of pets were either abandoned or left stranded by the storm. And ABC's Bazi Kanani is here in the flesh with this heartwarming story. Great to see you, Bazi. Yeah, great to be here. And great to be here on such a good story here. Many people, of course, consider pets to be part of their families. And so as families are trying to get their lives back together after the storm, this is some of the most important help they can get. They're the silent victims of Superstorm Sandy, some of the most helpless and most affected, and now our four-legged friends are finally getting the help they need. Southwest Airlines and SeaWorld teamed up to fly 60 orphaned cats and dogs from the East Coast to the Helen Woodward Animal Shelter in California. Thousands of animals lost their homes, and so we need to move the animals from these shelters to a shelter out on the West Coast so that we can make room for some of the Hurricane Sandy animals. The flight crew and the veterinarians are volunteering their time to assist in this operation. And they aren't the only ones helping. The ASPCA has opened a 20,000 square foot shelter for displaced pets in New York, made possible by the generosity of celebrity chef Rachel Ray. She provided $500,000 donation so that we could care for the, the displaced pets of New York City uh, following the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy and we're very gracious. More than 300 animals have been rescued by ASPCA responders and along with distributing pet supplies and operating mobile clinics, the ASPCA has helped nearly 16,000 animals in Sandy affected areas. I don't want to leave my dog in a cold apartment so I'm basically bring him here where he could be taken care of because he's just like my child. And the goal is to provide the, the people who have been displaced by Hurricane Sandy an opportunity to bring their pets in, board them for, for up to 30 days, and, uh, and really just, just focus on getting their lives back together. Proving in the aftermath of devastation, our furry friends are never forgotten. Rescuers say many pets not only need shelter, but they're also in need of some serious medical attention. Now, in the coming weeks, of course, we hope to see lots of happy reunions. But Dan and Bianca, for those pets that can't find their families, they will be in need of new homes.